Jesus, bye. Jesus, bye. All right. Wow. Well, welcome no, back. No music there. No music. Twice in a week, so uh, my apologies. Uh, what happened twice in a week? There was no uh, no music. Oh, okay. Well, then you owe less on the copyright. So it's actually yeah, one way. Well, it's free yeah, music. Yeah, you're right. It's time to start talking about cups. <laughs> so. <laughs> oh, man. Well, Gene, it, uh, welcome to the uh, the Midwest I, I was wearing a Green Bay sweatshirt, and then I, I put, I, I say goodbye to my, um, I have a bunch of Green Bay stuff, and being an owner, the whole deal, I, I, I put it away for the year. So let's just let this go for the year. Well, so. Gene, that's a very uh, interesting story. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, so now I'm on to anything Iowa. Iowa basketball and then Iowa wrestling. And he's oh, he's not know, joking. Uh, he know, is literally know, watching I, I, Iowa wrestling well, no, on his phone as, can see. Uh, as he's watching a uh, podcast. Yeah. Can see. Okay, this is so great. What you're scouting. you're scouting. Iowa wrestled in Nebraska Saturday night, and – I watch it on. I love the Big Ten Network. I never had it, but now I got YouTube TV. I got. I get. I cut the cord with the LA cable company. Oh, so I can't watch any more Dodger games. I'll survive. <laughs> and then uh, it was great to watch Iowa Nebraska wrestling. There were over thirteen thousand fans there at the Iowa. Isn't that amazing? Wow, thirteen thousand. Yeah, yeah. Iowa fans. They boy. They and Dan Gable was there, and he was wearing a hat, and it says, "In Iowa, we wrestle." You tell him, Dan. Yeah, so I don't miss. I'm so glad to have the Big Ten Network. I pay anything for it, but they our cable company didn't offer it, so I had to say uh, goodbye. Sayonara. I'll take, I take the Big Ten Network over the Dodgers. I uh, really didn't lose out in that much. All right. Well, uh, Gene, <laughs> I'm. Uh, okay. There you go. There's uh, a. <laughs> and, and then sorry. Th- this sounds like the beginning of uh, falling down I with uh, Kurt Douglas. And then the Cubs had their convention, and man. So Tom Ricketts comes out on stage, and uh, he mentioned. So the Cubs have a new uh, a network, the Marquee Network. So it's going to be took it from uh, Bozo. Took it, took it from <coughs> WGN. Yeah, right. We're Bozo afraid. the Clown, Gene. Yeah. Who, who has not I, I, been raised by Bozo the Clown? I was. I mean, that was so exciting. And, and lusted after the ball game in the buckets. Right, right. Boink. Go one, two, three, four, five. Can you get five in a row? Yeah. And what did you win, by the no, way? No, there like were six buckets altogether. Oh, was there six? Yeah, the big one, uh, you didn't exactly win a car. Maybe you'd win a bike if you got all six, but it was really hard to do. But, uh, yeah, now the Cubs are on Marquee. So Tom Ricketts comes out, the Cubs owner, and says, yeah, we're looking forward to a new partnership with Marquee Network, which means you're going to have to pay his fans. And then the crowd booed Bo- him. Starts booing him. Oh, huh? my gosh, they booed him hard, too. And he's Well, Gene, I mean, Harry Carey? Yeah, I mean, is there no loyalty <coughs> in, in sports? And, and then he said, uh, "You won't be laughing in a year from now." That's what Tom. He Rick said that said. you won't be laughing a year from now. Yeah, and that's what he said. Gee, con- the contempt. He was rattled. I don't think he expected to get booed like that. The contempt. Yeah. Well, well, so what, what is he saying? They're going to be in the World Series in a year from now? No, is that he what he's meant, saying? Uh, well, when he mentioned the Marquee Network, he said it's going to it'll be great for the Cub fans. Although they're going to have to pay for it somehow. They haven't figured out how. Well, uh, just in time for that 60-win season that's uh, oh, just around the horizon. Oh, that's so sad. Um, all right. Well, Gene, no one came here to uh, talk about uh, baseball. Oh, okay. Although, believe me, I think it's uh, time we moved on. <coughs> yeah. To uh, baseball's r- coming up. Astros. When do pitchers and catchers report? Uh, pretty soon in February and probably uh, in a month or what, three weeks. <laughs> I don't know. All February right, so uh, February. The Astros, you might as well not report. You, you just take the year off. Yeah, when do the audiovisual guys, oh my God. video guys uh, report? I, I, I'm really disappointed. A lot of people said, oh, they shouldn't have stripped the tire. They should. Just take it away. Take it away. Well, I mean, you still have to hit, right? I don't, you can't oh. take away a title, I guess. Well, well, and then give it to the Dodgers? Are you kidding me? No, just vacate it. And vacate the Boston title while you're at it. Take that, Bill Simmons. There you go. Yeah, no. <laughs> Cubs, um, you can keep right. yours. Well, Gene, it's the uh, the Midwest Sports Show, okay. and then my name is Chris Stotts, and that's Gene Steichen. Hello. And uh, we are going to talk. Mm. Hey, two two Midwest teams in the uh, conference championships. Wow, I'm so for happy. the National Football League. Oh yeah, and it's so great. Now I'm, I I just hope I pray almost. Maybe I'll pray. I don't know. Maybe I won't pray, but uh, I hope Kansas City wins. Oh my gosh. 
We oh, what do we need another Niners title for? No thanks. Well, why don't you pray to Kyle Shanahan since everyone's mm-hmm. acting like he's the new god? Oh, I know. What happened Around to here. Sean McVay? Is he just? Uh, he just. Hey, yesterday's Eugene, you news. reached the age of thirty-eight. You're old news. I know. He's yesterday's news. Who Sh- cares? Sh- shrivel prune. Wow. Um. All right. Well, Gene, we're gonna talk about the uh, the Green Bay <laughs> shellacking, and I know mm. everyone everyone wants to hear it from a uh, Packers fan. Mm. Well, you will you will get your you'll get yours. Yeah. We'll, we'll be laughing about a year from now, huh? How about that? Straight, oh, yeah. straight from Rickett. I hope so. You'll be. What does do, that even do, mean? You'll be wait, laughing. What? Oh, wait. I'm looking at my belt. Do you <laughs> think I'm laughing because everyone's like, was the window closing or opening? I don't know. About what? Packers. Oh. Well, uh, I like. I don't know. It's a bright, beautiful window. Gene, Gene we will get there. Okay. We will ahead. get there. Sure. We'll talk about what, all that. Am I but Gene, let's ahead. let's yeah, not. Uh, Let's mm-hmm. let's not be remiss if we don't oh, say happy Mar- Dr. Martin oh, yeah, Luther that's right. King Martin Day Luther Jr. King. Yeah, I did a lot. What, did you, I, you, you, well, Gene, I mean, you, you love parades, right? I yes. Mean, you love yes. the Rose Bowl. Right. right. Uh, Veterans Day, yeah. Memorial uh, Day. Memorial, I marched in uh, 10 Memorial Day parades. For, so yeah. you were definitely, you, 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 you left a, um, what do you call it? A chair, right? Save yeah. a spot for the MLK parade? Yes. I never marched in an MLK parade, sad <laughs> to say. Uh, because it was February, and well, I guess there might be an yeah, MLK that's a good point. parade. I don't know. We never marched. I never marched one, though. But not that I wasn't thinking about uh, the good our, doctor. Uh, yeah, the good doctor uh, on these days, right? But when I was in school, back then, they didn't have MLK. Or they had it, but they didn't make a big deal about it. Now they do. So we never, good. I mean, we never had it off for school. Yeah, back, now, back now I think I everyone does. Right? In Wisconsin. Yeah. Well, not, I mean, not everyone. I mean, the service industry. Well, I, I mean, you know, I say this every year, Gene. It's ironic that, uh, you know, celebrate MLK Day. G- g- give the white bankers a day off. Oh. Make sure they have the day off. There you go. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. He died so that white bankers <laughs> could have a, have a Monday off. And politicians, too, by the way. Um. All right. So uh, we'll we'll talk about the game and then. Um, all right. Should we just get to the game? Yeah. Why not? I didn't. Uh. Wait. That was it. Was the second game. I was really happy for Kansas City. All right. So well, then, let's get to the Kansas City game. Second. Yeah. Because. Yeah. Yeah. But the Packers. I or did. Should we w- just talk about Kansas City right away? No. I. I. Uh, the Packers. I was very. I wasn't optimistic, but I was kind of somewhat hopeful. But uh, I kept the sound off because if it was started going bad, which it did right away, I didn't want to hear about it. Well, you know, when uh, there's not much to say about the Kansas City game. I mean, it, well, I mean, Tennessee did pretty good in the beginning. Yeah. And I, uh, I, but uh, what do you call it? Patrick Mahomes just pretty much figured I them was out. Worried. Weren't you worried, though, Tennessee? Because I thought, oh, this is going to be different. than like, They can't do it two weeks in a row because they were down 10 nothing, 17-7. I go, uh oh, this might not be. Oh, please! And then I kept thinking about Andy Reid, and he's probably an emotional eater, and uh, uh, just not and worried it, about his health. Oh uh, yes, you gotta worry about his health. Do you hear what he said today? What'd you do last night, Andy? After to celebrate, I ate a cheeseburger and went to bed. Not good. <laughs> not good. Yeah, probably the, one of the best nights he's had all season. Oh my gosh, so great. Um, but but uh, yeah, so uh, Tennessee, uh, you know, made it a game at first, but then uh, you know things kind of fell apart. Part they really Tannehill. shut down Derrick Henry. Ten- that was Ten- great the way they beat the crap out of that guy, right? Tannehill threw an interception. Yeah. And uh, Gene, just like uh, what, what was the Vikings quarterback like three years ago who did the uh, the the Mi- Minneapolis miracle? Oh, what was that guy's name? Oh, that was Case. Was that K- Case? Yeah, Kim Case Man? Keenum. Yeah. Just like I said back there, live by the Case Keenum, die by the Case Keenum. Wow. Live by the Tan Hill, die by the Ryan Tan Yeah, that because uh, unfortunate way to go into free agency there, Bob. Yeah. So uh, you, you look you look good during the uh, you know games that don't matter so much, but then when you actually need to score some points, uh, he didn't play very well down the stretch. Mm. So. And then, uh, yeah, so obviously the uh, Kansas City Chiefs won, and they're going to the Super Bowl. And I'm thinking to myself, you know, you know, the Packers are going to beat the Niners. Um, you know, Mah- Mah- Mahomes has to dislocate his knee. But let's find some way for him to dislocate his knee before the uh, Super Bowl. It, it was good. Uh, but, uh, okay. yeah, it's not going to happen. He was so good. Hey, what about that crappy trophy they get? Or is you're not there yet? The, the Lamar Hunt yeah, trophy? How about, how about beefing that thing up a little bit? Yeah, there you go. Yeah, that's, that's 
the other thing I yeah, that, That's a hot take okay, right there. Well, you, you hear that, AFC? <laughs> Lamar Hunt? Yeah. Oh, it's so happy old man? I think the daughter, does the daughter own it? Uh, Yeah, probably something. Or the son or something I, like that? I, or yeah, the son marry the daughter? Yeah, something like that. I'm not sure. Oh, someone, I think it's still. No, it's, it's the still, widow, I think, right? Oh, oh maybe I think the it widow is the of widow. Lamar. So there's still, it's still, that means there's four. Because uh, Detroit, Chicago, New Orleans, and Kansas City all have female owners. That's pretty good. Right? Yeah, there you go. Yeah. And this, they say the NFL isn't inclusive, huh? That's right. Gina, Gina you're going to talk shit about the Rooney rule. <laughs> I mean, we got we got four women yeah. that own teams. That's pretty great. Uh, unfortunately, none of them are black, but, you know. Yeah. That, they'll be next. Yep. Oh, and I watched uh, the Iowa debate, too, so there you go. <laughs> I mean, um, that's as much a combustor. But it was, it was uh, Kansas. Oh, I hope they're good. So they're I looking good. They Andy Reid. It'll be I nice mean, to see Andy Reid win a Super yeah, Bowl. Yeah, because that was, uh, well, I mean, it, it, yeah, it's great he got there. He's got to win. He ne- Don't you think? Be good if he won. Uh, you know, people people were saying, like, oh, you know, is he like a Hall of Fame material? I mean, yeah, I think, I mean, first of all, his when he was coaching, first of all, he took two shit franchises. Yeah, the Eagles right. were terrible. In the early 90s, the Chiefs were terrible for, like, 10 years after, yeah. like, Joe Montana left. And uh, he, t- he took both of them to, like, they were perennially yeah. successful teams. They beat the shit out of the Packers a bunch of times, you know, when Favre was the quarterback. Fourth and 24. Was that was it 27? Fourth and 27? Yeah. Fourth and 24? I mean. Freddie uh, Mitchell. Yeah. Before he went to prison. Yeah. Well, I mean, first of all, you want to be proud of a known criminal? Can, can, hey, can we? Can, you, you talk about the Astros. Can we he, take that? He, yeah, take he, that back. He was very. He was very. Uh, we would have beat the Patriots. I think yeah. we uh, did beat the Patriots that year. Maybe he was very cocky, and then he ended up in prison. Um, uh, yeah. So, uh, yeah, no, I mean, I think Andy, I mean, he's turned around, again, franchises that were yeah, dead. Yeah, it's really T-O-A. hard. I mean, he's got plenty of time left, and hopefully he'll win multiple, but he hasn't won. I, I mean, just want him to win. I love Kansas City. I love the, the fans. they got such great fans. Man, it was cold there yesterday, too. Well, like, yeah, I, I noticed at halftime, uh, those old guys doing the uh, halftime show oh uh, could God. barely pronounce uh, any names. Yeah. So. All right, so uh, there we go. So that was the early game on Sunday. Very exciting. Good job, it's, Kansas it's City. Patrick Mahomes. It's the guy everyone wants oh, to see in the have Super one Bowl. More, one more game like that. Hey, no more Baker Mayfield on commercials. Out. He yeah. should be out of all of them. It should be Patrick Mahomes. Well, and then, you know, you think about it. I mean, what are, you know, State Farm. Right. They're the one. speaking of uh, making bets, State Farm made a pretty good bet on Aaron Rodgers and Patrick Mahomes. And what if you had a super, a, the State Farm Super Bowl? Yeah, and then that's what, awesome. And then you know what would the agent have done? Yeah, huh? yeah. And then and then I I, I, I missed that character arc. <coughs> uh, stick, yeah, that would be great. And get him in the progressive ad. Anything Baker's doing, Baker. Uh, sorry, you, you, we have to cut Please. you out. How must we? Uh, how, s- <laughs> how quick? How quickly we turn, Gene? Yeah, uh, I, I've had it with him. And then uh, they <laughs> said Darren Ravel said that ticket prices could top five thousand, be the first time ever. What for the Super Bowl? Yeah. No, oh, okay. Because you have. Well, two it's actually grades. gonna be a good game, but we will uh, we'll get to that. But yeah. Gene, okay. Speaking about ticket prices. Oh yeah, the, the game the, of the, course the, was in San Francisco. They didn't drop, did they? And uh, I uh, I you know I, I knew I wasn't going to the game, but I I kept my eye out on I stuff did too. up. Right. right and right. Uh, they were pretty much around three hundred. I think they. St- uh, dip down to like 270 we're talking about like standing room only right right which i have not purchased before when they played the yeah 49ers previously when kaepernick uh was playing but uh yeah gene they uh they didn't budge but i i mean i i thought tickets would be like 500 dollars. yeah well least, that so. goes to those niner fans they're so entitled so i paid more for opening night in chicago than they paid for the the nfc championship game hmm. something's wrong there Yep. Yeah. Uh, it's very pot. Well, <laughs> I'll never. Well, pay what, what, as what's much. wrong there? The Chicago Bears. <laughs> I know. What's the variable there? <laughs> Chicago yeah, Bear. I know. I'm never um, gonna pay that much for a game. Again. So I did not. And then plus, you know, you gotta drive six hours, and then the game yeah. is gonna end at seven, and you're not gonna get back until like one or three, even. You know, so 
Um, I guess it is Martin Luther King Day, but I did have to do some stuff today. Um, so I did not, but I do have, I, I have a friend who, uh, doesn't talk to me. Apparently he was at the game. Oh, was so, he? uh, there were Packer, they really stand out to Packer fans cause the green and gold against the Kansas yeah. city. But then I thought about it too. And I was like, gosh, but I don't know if, if the Packers look like they might have had a better chance. Well, um, well, Gene, I thought they did have a pretty good chance. Yeah, okay. Uh, so there the you Packers go. thought they had a pretty good chance, but uh, the 49ers did not think they had a pretty good chance, and I think that was uh, pretty much it. Mm-hmm. But, uh, Gene, I'm gl- after the game, I'm like, man, I'm glad I didn't waste uh, you know, 350 oh bucks. That would be depressing. And then 12 out, you know, right, freaking absolutely. 24 hours of just anguish. Yeah, and then you're in the stands. You're getting beat 27 to nothing at half. And then you got to deal with all the people around idiot. By the way, the by the Rams fans last year, these guys were Rams fans last year, <laughs> and now they're uh, I know 49ers and where fans. Where were you? I mean, they haven't really well. And then they're making fun of Green Bay. Did you see the guy with the the cheese head, the Niners cheese head? No. With the, it said it like the real melted? cheese. Oh, yeah. the real cheese. Yeah. Very very clever. Yeah. The real cheese. The real cheese. <laughs> yeah. Okay. California. All right. Well, Gene, uh, go, all right, let, we can actually talk about the game. All right. Things were uh, it was blurry how bad it got so fast. Well, things were looking pretty good. I mean, uh, Packers got the, uh, the, the uh, what do you call it, the to- coin toss, deferred, stopped the 49ers on the first drive. Okay, perfect, well, there perfect we go. Start. Now it's looking up. I, uh, I spoke too soon. But then a uh, three and out. I, th- I think it was pretty much a three and out, right? Maybe it would have been one or two first downs, but uh, Packers did nothing to it. 49ers get the ball back, and then I uh, guess who uh, uh, kicks a 54-yard Robbie field Gould, goal right pair. off the bat? Robbie Gould. Yeah. Gold? Gould? Gold. He goes by Gold. But now now he's a 49er. He goes by Gold? Yeah, you, that's right. All right, that's buddy. That's right. Um, so there we go. So X bears you know, why do these guys play good against the Packers when they're not on the Bears, Gene? Everyone plays like an all-star word, and they play the Packers not as a Bear. How was that? How does that work? I don't know. Um, and then, you know, the 49ers. 49ers and Joe, first of all, Joey Boza. What? This guy was out of control. Oh, my God. I mean, he had a crazy season, so it's uh, pretty predictable. Just teeing off on uh, Bakhtiari. Hmm. Like it's a joke. Like it's uh, college versus Pee Wee. And uh, Aaron Rodgers. I mean, you know. Everyone's talking. You know, he didn't right, have a good right. game. Well, listen, you got Joey Bulls in your face or all these other guys. Yeah. What, I mean, no one's going to be able to do anything. It strips the ball. 49ers get the ball quick. Oh, my God. And there's a couple more turnovers. And pretty quick, it's uh, – I don't I mean, was it 27? Was it 24? 27 nothing. 27 nothing? Yeah. Before the half? At half, yeah. Uh, so not good. Wow. But, uh, hey, Gene, Rob Lowe was at the game. I'm gl- yes. glad we saw that. How about that? Oh, that was the game he was at. I saw a picture of him. Yeah. He's got a new show. There you go. Here you go, Packer fans. We got Rob Lowe. But, you know, there's so many opportunities when you're like, man, if the, if the Packers can just, you know, go drive down the ball, you know, get a touchdown, and then they get the ball back, and then, uh, you know, they're only down by a touchdown or right. 10 points yeah. or 11 points, but then just the Packers could not uh, – you know, cannot deliver. It was tough. Aaron Rodgers, he threw for a lot of yards, but he yeah, he had two know. uh two interceptions too. Yeah, so, I know. Uh, he was really I was pressing thinking stuff. of that. Yeah, but that one pass he threw in the second half was fantastic. Wow. Yeah, to uh, well, and then uh, so halftime. <coughs> by the way, the 49ers are uh, just running ragged over us. Jimmy Garoppolo only had eight throws the entire game. Uh, hey, hey Mike, hey hey Mike Pedden. How about we uh, stack the box, huh? They knew. How about we do run. that? Didn't they? I heard today that there's an hour and a half of game time went by, or uh, when you're watching the game, where they didn't throw the yeah. ball. Yeah, there's like a whole drive. There's like a whole ten minute drive where they didn't throw the ball once. Wow. And uh, yeah, I mean, I, I understand we're worried about George Kittle. Uh, Iowa Hawkeye. That's the only reason. How about Moster running the through our fucking uh, line like a bunch of Swiss cheese? <laughs> Huh? I know we're yeah. the Packers, but let's uh let's put a stop to this. Wow. So I was a little disappointed. I'm like, yeah, I'm sh- I was shocked that they did not like stack the line and basically and that's I mean, especially when uh <laughs> when that dirty hit. I don't know if it was dirty, but uh man, they went after Garoppolo's legs. Oh. And uh at the time do you remember that? 
I don't. Okay, well, at the time, I mean, there was a, you know, the, basically the guy, I think it was Darius Smith, got I might have been taking an emotional It looked more like a push. Out. He was pushed into right. his legs. But, uh, yeah, when I was watching in real time, and you know how you kind of see yeah. the guy go up to the quarterback and you don't really see it too bad? I'm like, oh, he fucked up his leg. Like, he broke his leg or something like that. But, uh, miraculously, uh, Jimmy Garoppolo survived it, and then he was, you know, hobbling r- all around a little bit. But it's like, hey. Make him throw it. If he's, like, messed up and he's going to be start seeing ghosts now that people are going after his legs, like, uh, start throwing, the, you know, make him throw the ball. How, how do I know this stuff? Hmm. When these guys, you know, these guys are so-called experts? Yeah. Huh? I don't know. Um, and then and then they come out of the half and, oh, my God, all of a sudden they start throwing the ball to Devontae Adams. What a sh- we, we have Devontae Adams on our team and we were oh never throwing gosh. the ball to him? Like, well, yeah. why did it take us uh, two quarters to throw the ball to Devontae that Adams? Made, that could have made a difference, possibly. Well, I don't know if we started moving the ball all of a sudden once we started getting in Devontae Adams' hands. Yeah. You know, then that opened the run game. We started getting a couple good runs. And for a second there, yeah, it looked like we were going to have a uh, nice little uh, Aaron Rodgers comeback. Signature comeback. That would have been amazing. Make the victory all that sweeter. Right, right, but right. Uh, I don't know if it was just gas or if the – they needed Packers they defense needed again. To stop them one more time. They could not. Yeah, they could not stop them. And you know they got to within like two scores, maybe. Yeah, uh, yeah I think they, they, they got to within fourteen points, right? Twenty-seven to thirteen. Yeah, and then uh, twenty-seven to thirteen, and then they needed to stop them, and they couldn't. They just so. couldn't do it. Yeah. Uh, oh boy, it's depressing. Uh, blah blah blah. But that's when you're kind of thankful you're not in the stands, because then it's yeah. man, you get there's. I mean, I was at the Rose Bowl in 2016, and I we we played Stanford. Christian McCaffrey first play of the game, 72 yards. We we're down like 40 to seven at the half. Nothing more depressing. And you're like, yeah. gosh, I gotta watch it for 30 more minutes, and I just get. And you don't even want to buy Stanford people. And you don't even want to buy any more food because yeah. you're like, or any beer because like, hey, I'm not going to waste any more money oh, on this day. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah. they don't have, they don't sell beer at college games, right? Mm, so some, bad some example. Stadiums. Yeah. Um, no, all some right. stadiums do actually. So, so, um, you know, and then, so yeah, of course the 49ers, uh, win pretty much mm. beat up on the Packers. Um, some final thoughts. Aaron Rodgers uh, said football became fun again this season. That's great. Okay, there we go. Which is There's great, but which is pretty damning. Uh, the last, uh, I don't know, five years. Good under luck, Mike Cowboys. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And then, uh, you know, Ed, why is it, Gene, after every uh, Aaron Rodgers loss, you know, that Aaron Rodgers takes part of you, well, I always got to hear Bill Simmons. Oh, my gosh. Viciously attack him. Yeah, and I, I I think the reason is because uh, back in 2010 when Aaron Rodgers was uh, you know at the height of his powers, I think he got a little defensive because uh, people were saying he's the best quarterback of all time. Right. You know, meanwhile Brady's you know just this old school pocket passer, and I think he only had three uh, you know they only had three uh, Super Bowls at that time, right? So yeah, it's debatable. Probably. He probably yeah. fought, felt a little threatened. He's always had a chip on his shoulder towards Aaron Rodgers, and uh, always feels the uh, need to point out. Mm. Yeah, he had that great season. Hasn't done anything much. But, I mean, I, you can't blame this on Aaron Rodgers, right? No. I mean, when you no. got Joey Boza in your grill the whole oh night. My God. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you never really had a chance. I'm excited. Hopefully, he'll do yoga. He probably already does yoga. Uh, and then, uh, whatever, stay limber because he's going to be 37 next year. Yep. Get so, a few more years. And it's Matt, it Lef- it's Matt LaFleur's, uh, you know, first kind of real big, yeah. big game um, as a head coach. You know, these offensive coordinators and all this stuff, they, they don't really – I mean, they coach, but, like, they don't, they're don't. they not running the game, right? They're not making the big decisions. So I think it's a little bit different. Why wouldn't you not, like, hire, like, a, I don't know, college coach that's been successful? I think that maybe that makes more sense than hire a defensive or offensive coordinator because they're not actually the coach. You're just, like, calling plays, right? Yeah, um, I know like nothing. Matt Nagy. I, I, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, what else? Uh, yeah, and then again, you know, uh, oh, gee, and Bill Simmons has a hot take on the show again. Mm. Says uh, Patrick Mahomes might be better than Aaron Rodgers. Whoa, what, Bill? I, Bill, I, I, Gene, back me up on this. Yeah, I, I, back, I, I, I consider yourself backed up. I stated, yeah. I said, did I not say this, Gene, that right. Patrick Mahomes would go down as the best player of all time, even being better than Aaron Rodgers, 
probably game one of last year, his oh, first full I, uh, I, season. That one, I don't know. That escapes oh, me, but Gene, I'll, I'll back course. you up. I'll back you up. Okay, and I said even I as an Aaron Rodgers and Gene, I'm saying this is an Aaron Rodgers fan. I think oh, he okay. is the best player of all time, but when it's all said and done, Patrick Mahomes will be the best player oh, of all my time. Gosh. He's, yeah, he's but there's a long way to go. Injury. Yeah, he's, yeah, got, but, he's yeah. got like 10 years. Pretty exciting, though. Yeah, right? exactly. I hope they win. Oh, please win, Kansas City. I'm, I'm. This one, I'm really. If the Niners win, I'm. I. There's nothing. I'll be I, not good. Kansas City. That's what it'd be so great for the city. And oh my gosh, their fans. Oof. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm. I'm rooting for Kansas City for sure. So go, go Kansas. City. Yeah. All right, uh, we're going to move along here. So, uh, Gene, Odell Beckham. Did you watch a game? Oh, no, I watched it with you a little bit. What a oh, the disaster. LSU? He no, was, was just... Something was wrong. He even, he even commandeered the band, uh, the megaphone. He Jesus. took it from, like, the conductor oh, the, oh, and he was at the band. How about you let the kids celebrate, for God's sake? It's and not even do shit. Ed Orgeron was giving his uh, the speech. He was chiming in. It's like, what the hell, dude? You've overstayed your welcome, yeah. that's for sure. I mean, Jesus. Man. I mean, did, did, was he on LSU when they won a championship? No, they didn't do much okay. when he was there. <laughs> Sit your ass down, Odell. Get, right, right. Get, get your ass back to Cleveland. Yeah, I he and something then, was wrong. He, he was he was either su- super drunk or and maybe he's handing out he, cash to LSU players. Not a bad on idea. the field. Yeah, yeah. Um, and for, at first LSU said it was uh, fake cash, but then uh, Joe Burrows confirmed it was right. uh, real cash. Yeah. And uh, I, you know what? I mean, what was uh, Odell thinking? Like, is this? Uh, I, he, that, that may be a cash. Contribution, Gene. Right. I don't know. Handing out the kids' cash. He's not bigger than the university. That's for sure. I I'd be like, uh, Odell, we're gonna revoke your your uh, sideline pass till twenty forty. Um. Oh, hey, Odell, you might be you might be rich, but these kids are trying to uh, keep their one meal a day premium. <laughs> okay, their stipend. Okay, <laughs> allowance. They get the buffet. Yeah. Well, that's not. They're not trying to jeopardize that. Okay, that's hey, the only that's way to L- eat. LSU education's got to be worth a lot of money. I'm not sure why. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. Um, and Gene, that's not it. Uh-huh. Uh, there was an arrest warrant issued for Odell yeah. Beckham over alleged battery. I saw that on a police officer in LSU's locker room after Monday night's game. Oh my gosh. Uh, video appears to show Beckham slapped the butt of a police officer who was uh, in the locker room. Uh, the report, the uh, New Orleans police attained an arrest warrant accusing Beckham of civil battery in connection with the incident. Mm. And uh, they actually did uh, rescind this. Yeah. But uh, can you Gene, can you imagine being the police officer? Uh, by the way, probably probably not probably not an LSU fan, by the way. Right. Right. Can you imagine being a police officer in a locker room? And then, uh, you know, they're celebrating, hooting and hollering and all this stuff. Yeah. And then uh, someone spanks you. I just. And, so and then filing a filing a case. Like, who? who? <laughs> it's not like you just, like, push a button, Gene. You have to, like, write out paperwork. I know, like, I, know, I know. Don't you think, like, halfway through the paperwork, you're like, wait, what am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing with my life? Yeah, that's for sure. But, uh, but Gene, maybe that, maybe that cop is all of us that wanted uh, Odell just to shut up. Yeah. Sit down and shut up. Like, stop be- acting crazy. So, oh my God. Hey, maybe we should take the police officer's side on this, huh? Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm all for it. Just, just, uh, maybe yeah. it was that annoying, right? He, I, and he didn't apologize, nothing. He was out of line. Okay. Whatever. Yeah. But he is out of line. Yeah. But good luck, Cleveland. Getting that all figured out. All right. And then, uh, <laughs> All right, and then uh, Gene, uh, another Chicago Bear. Not since uh, oh, Kyle Gale, Long. Not since Gale Sayers, right? As a uh, Chicago be- Bear, retired from his prime. Yeah, nah, I don't want to say his prime. He but. did. He he only made it. I think he was made it five years or so. He had he had a couple Pro Bowl years. He's been hurt for three years. Well, and he's, he's going to be uh, well, Gene. He's got a new movie called Firestorm Two. Oh, okay. Is so that how, true? That's how we, no, no, probably oh, not. Okay. That's how oh. we, like, Firestorm, right? Oh, I see. Howie, Howie Long. Long. You know, Howie Long was in a bunch of movies. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But he was in yeah. that yeah. train Gene, movie. Yeah, called Firestorm. He's no. his dad. Well, that one I that don't was the remember. Joke. Remember the one with Christian Slater? 
And uh, he was a bad guy. Oh, Broken Arrow, right? Yes, Broken. Wow, good. That's great. Good memory there. No, is that? But that isn't that the John Travolta? Nah, yeah. No, that's that's faces. Oh yeah, John Travolta is in that, right? I okay. think so. And then uh, I think Howie Long might play a bad guy. All right. I don't. I don't want to rewatch it just to find that out. But whatever. Um. So uh, Kyle Long is uh you know giving these exit interviews and all this stuff, talking to press and all this stuff. He was asked. Can the Bears win with quarterback Mitch Trubisky? Oh my gosh, this is so yeah. And I'm yes, it's uh, he was on our the rap sheet and friends. Uh, he says uh, the Bears have won with Mitch Trubisky. He can deal with the noise. He can deal with the noise. I'm looking forward to seeing him develop. Gene, uh, someone better check to see if he has a concussion. <laughs> It's so sad. And it's got a gosh, Patrick Mahomes right there. And Kansas City wanted him. Oh, they should have done their research. Kansas City said they would have moved up to number one to get him if they. Uh, Kyle should be like, uh, well, first of all, if uh, Patrick Mahomes uh, was uh, playing for the Bears, I'm pretty sure Kyle Long would not be uh, right, right. reporting. Oh, my gosh. The Bears. Not, uh, what a retiring. mess. I mean, they're going to always be cursed by – and that really – I mean, you can't over-exaggerate. It could be the worst decision. That's up there with the Michael Jordan one. It is. It's got to be. With uh, uh, Michael Jordan went third overall that year. Uh, who's worst the, decision. Port, Portland took – Well, and sometimes – so yeah, Sam Bowie. Yeah, and then um, someone else – Houston took, I think, Clyde Drexler. And then nah, I think, wasn't it uh, something – I don't know. But I think Jordan went third, I believe. Yep. Uh, yeah, but wow, oh, so painful for Chicago. Mm -hmm. All um, right, and then um, there's uh, I had one more story here. Oh, okay. Oh yeah. So uh, Gene, did you happen to watch the McGregor? I did not. It fight? didn't even start till midnight, did it? Here. Nah, it was like ten thirty, which is. Um, oh, okay. Oh yeah, midnight 10, there. Nine thirty, oh, something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but Gene, I was, uh, you know, I'm not gonna oh, pay you 65 did. bucks for it. So right. I, uh, put it on my computer, the old, uh, illegal stream. Oh, you found an illegal stream. Yep. Oh, you're so I brilliant. sure did. Yeah. And, uh, so I was, cause you know, they have all these like undercards, right? All these right. matches before, you know, like 10 goddamn matches, you know, before the real fight. So I'm like, uh, you know what? You know, and then, you know, they don't tell you when it's going to start too. Cause yeah. they don't know when the match is actually going to start. So I'm like, you know what? Let me go to the grocery store really quick, get some chips, you know, get something, you know, blah, blah, blah to eat. Come back. Joe Rogan is interviewing uh, Conor McGregor. Right. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it's not like a pre t it's not, Dude's not wearing a suit. I mean, dude's like in his, uh, you know, his, uh, you know, fighting outfit. Yeah. And uh, I'm like, wait, is this a, is this like a old match or what? But no, the uh, the match lasted like 48 seconds. 40 seconds. Or something he like did, that. He did the flying left. Yeah, dude's got well, dude. They got they got what uh you know, uh what do you call it? <laughs> you can tell I'm a big guy uh, UFC fan, oh, but they too. got uh they're, so they're engaged right, and then yeah. Connor starts hitting with his goddamn uh, shoulder in the dude's oh, face, man. and then everyone's acting like that's never been done. That, that's never been done before in a wow. UFC match. I yeah, I've never really watched one. I've seen highlights, but you know he used to fight. His heyday was at 145. He gained 25. I mean, he moved up to one. This was a 170 match. So, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Big paydays ahead for him. And he starts I, talking about his uh, Irish whiskey brand, oh like, during gosh. the interview. That's pretty good. That's pretty how good he, plug. when he punched the old man, he was <laughs> he was pushing his crappy whiskey. And the guy said, no thanks, dude, or <laughs> whatever they say in Ireland. And, uh, yeah, then he slapped him or something. Well, real, uh, real... <laughs> I guess real role model. I guess he won't be going to the wrestling ring yet. I he'll be in the WWE hopefully. Uh, yeah. Uh, nah, I don't think so. He's gonna be. I mean, so oh, well, I, I guess Mary on. Mary what, Mayweather is talking about. He wants to fight him. Again? Well, Connor wants to fight Mayweather again. Uh, just Why not? Chance. Well, probably because Connor only got like uh like t like. <laughs> yeah. Probably got screwed out of like a bunch of money. He's oh, like, yeah. oh, let's do that yeah. again, but this time I want a hundred million. Yeah, for sure. I, you know, I think if they fight, eh, you know, hey, you know, he might actually like, uh, eh, you just know, try challenge. Right. Well, I guess okay. it's the only boxing. They would though, have right? to do an exhibition. Connor, I don't think Floyd would put his undefeated record on the line because he, he hasn't fought for so long. I don't know. Maybe he would. Nah, he probably just, I don't know. See, I, Gene, I don't know anything about boxing. 
Yeah. Or at UFC, well, then nothing you like know that. more than I do. So, all right, there yeah. you go. Nothing, nothing Midwest about that crap. Yeah. We don't, we don't have that crap. Oh no. In the we Midwest, no. we got real old fashioned re- wrestling. Yeah, I love it. Big Ten, go Iowa. Iowa, this is so great. Iowa's ranked number one in the country in wrestling, and we, they haven't won since 2010 because Penn State's been so dominant. So. I'm so hopeful that maybe this is the year Iowa wins the title again. It'd be great. There you go. It'd be great. Because according to Dan Gable, in Iowa we wrestle. We wrestle. Yeah. All right. It's a nice, uh, nice wrestling talk. Yeah, right. you're welcome. All right. Oh, yeah. So I think uh, we're going to end it right there. Yeah. See if I can actually get the uh, music going. Thank you, everybody. Uh, it's great seeing you, Adam and John, or hey, in Maryland. And Cheryl, of course. And Jackie. Everyone right. and my mom, my mom, my mom. We got to fix her. She, she, she got logged off at Facebook and she can't figure out how to get back <laughs> on. And I, I tried to talk her through it, but uh, no luck, no luck. Well, God bless you. She, God I, bless so I said, just go to the dealer. Just go to the phone shop. And <laughs> oh help no, I mean, God bless you. I don't know. <laughs> imagine, oh. be, imagine being <laughs> one of those clerics and you just getting these old ladies coming in, tr- asking you to like log them back into Facebook. Yeah. <laughs> hey, and uh, it's like, sweetie, uh, yeah, winter, you can do it. You can, I- I- in the Midwest, you can get through the winter. You can. Yeah. We'll be thinking of this week when it's in the 70s. It's supposed to be really nice here this week. Hey, it was, cl- hey, Gene, do it. let's not kid ourselves. It yeah. Was, it, was, it was cloudy today. Today, okay. today, today was a tough one. It was right? overcast. Yeah. All right. Yeah. You know, we're, we're suffering over here too, folks. Yeah, we, it's 66 downtown today. But uh, th- fair or not, we'll be back in the 70s in no time. All right. All right, so uh, I'm not going to have any music, so I'm just going to fade to black. So uh, for Gene Steichen, it's the Midwest Sports Show. We'll see you guys next week.